welcome back to Board and Busters. So this week we're going to make a desk organiser or it could be a makeup brush organiser. You can use it however you want. You just need some toilet roll or kitchen roll tubes, something to hold them in so it could be the lid of a shoebox or anything similar and some colourful paper, wrapping paper, paint, pens, whatever you want to use. So first of all I'm going to cover my toilet roll tubes with some colourful paper. Uh, stick that paper down. You can use super glue, you can use Pritt stick, PVA, double sided sticky tape would be great, or even a glue gun. I couldn't find mine. So you'll see throughout this, I use about every sticky product available in my house. I had this awesome wrapping paper left over. So I thought, you know what, I'll use that with like a little bit of shiny mermaid under the sea style. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for blues and shininess. So covered that wrapping paper with some glue and just rolled that tube up. Now you want to do this with every single tube. How many tubes you use, entirely up to you. Just get collecting those toilet roll tubes. I'm sure you've got some that hanging around. And then you just want to tuck the ends in to make it a little bit neater. Now you could use tape to do this again. I could not find any tape. I could find masking tape and I can find duct tape, but for some reason I cannot find tape in my house. It is there, it's just hiding somewhere. You can do it in different papers. You can do rainbow coloured if you wanted to, that would look really cool. But just whatever you've got lying around your house, you could paint your tubes. Bit of acrylic paint on there. Colour pens, anything. And just tuck the edges in again, make them nice and neat. But warning, cats love toilet roll tubes, so you may get a visitor. If you've got a cat, that is. So on my last tube I decided to use some of that funky paper I showed you earlier. And I put a little bit of gold tape just down the centre, just to finish off where the edges weren't very neat because, you know, I didn't have the right sticky things. And once they're all done, you need to wrap the bottom, the base up, just like you would a Christmas present. I hate wrapping. I really, I'm not very good at wrapping. And just to make it a little bit easier, I'm using duct tape rather than salad tape because I couldn't find it. So you just want to wrap that base up. It doesn't have to be particularly neat. It doesn't have to go all the way into the sides like I'm doing. And again, you can you can paint this. You don't have to wrap it. And at one point, whilst getting very annoyed wrapping, I did consider just getting some paints out and painting it instead. But I wanted it to match my tubes. Once it's done, you can fill in the bottom like I did. I've put some more paper in there and some more gold tape. You could use ribbons as well. That would look really nice. Just glue down the edges of your tubes to the bottom. Personally, I think double-sided sticky tape or hot glue would be a lot better. As you'll see, I had to glue these down a few times. And with those things you can they've got a bit more budge if you want to get things moved around in your little base now i had that issue i didn't like the way they sat so i had to take them off luckily they hadn't stuck properly anyway and then move them around again and that's it fill it up with pens or anything i'm definitely going to be using this i needed a desk tidy and that's why i made this this board and buster mainly for myself but there you go and that can sit nice and neatly on your desk. Sorted. <music>